In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a token on base with additional features or just a plain meme coin. The best tool to do it with no coding right now is Smithy and we're going to go with that and then I'm going to show you how you can create a pool on Uniswap because that's the easiest thing to do. So let's get started. The link is down below to Smithy if you want to get started. Uh, you will have to choose base. You have option also to go with Ethereum and Solana is as simple as that. Uh, and after going with base, you basically just have to connect the wallet. You have a bunch of options. Uh, going with MetaMask is probably the simplest here, but you have also Coinbase and Wallet Connect. So that's really the simplest. Now, if you cre click on create token, go with the token creator, then basically you have a bunch of options. Of course, going with the name, symbol, and then supply, that's the easiest thing uh, to do. And then you have also very interesting stuff, which is uh, really seldomly in uh, this kind of tools, because basically you can add tags and you will have that directly in the token. So you can add how much, for example, per transaction is taken away uh, and given to you as a, as a the one uh, as a deployer. So you can have the receiver wallet for the tax here uh, and uh, how much you want to have per transaction. So this is really cool. Another stuff you can add is a bunch of advanced options, which are amazing. So first of all, you can have uh, airdrop mode on. So if you put that on, then basically it means that you can't really uh, trade the token. Uh, people can uh, get the token by if you if you send them to the, to them directly or if they buy them directly, but they won't be able to then uh, send it further on and trade unless you turn off this option. And you'll be able to turn off this option in uh, uh, in a uh, the manager in the token manager that I'm going to show you in a moment. So that's another thing. Uh, you have anti bot, so that prevents bot from trading from sniping the the meme coin or the token you created. Really cool stuff. And then you also have anti anti whale options, which are really cool, uh, that you can customize yourself. So if you don't want to people, for example, to buy too many of the supply in one transaction, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, really cool stuff. So you have everything, as you can see, customizable, or you can go with a simplest meme coin. You can do with nothing or maybe just the tax. Uh, you can say it's like, I don't know, test token, and you put the symbol for that test and then you do the supply for say 1 billion tokens. I don't know if that's 1 billion, close to, I think. Uh, so that's basically 1 billion tokens, the most standard uh, supply that people have. And basically that's it for the connecting. Uh, you can go then, and if you create that, you have a bunch of options to first of all manage the token. So if you, after connecting the, to after creating the token, you can find it here and then uh, 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 manage some of the options if that was created with Smithy, for example, turning off this airdrop mode, uh, that's a cool stuff. Another thing is that you can go with uh, managing anti-bot, uh, uh, and disabling that after a moment. And you can, of course, go with uh, anti-whale and trying to disable that as, as well. Uh, so that's another thing. And the cool tool about Smithy is that you also be, have uh, very easily the ability to send any base token to hundreds of wallets. Uh, it doesn't have to be created with Smithy for, for you to use that. You just have to have the token address. You have to have the token in your wallet that you want to use to send the transactions. And then uh, you just customize how many you want to send. Uh, you have the list of wallet addresses to send and that's it. And that's pretty cheap option. You basically pay like 0.0001 ETH per wallet to send. So uh, you can really easily send like hundreds and thousands uh, of tokens to do different wallets uh, per transaction. So that's really cool. So what do you do after creating a token on base? Uh, you basically need to add liquidity and probably Uniswap is the best here. Uh, so Uniswap is uh, the, the easiest way to create liquidity and the most common one. You just go to Uniswap, create position, uh, and then you can add liquidity here with the two tokens, for example, if or something like USDC and your token. And that's basically it. As you can see, super simple uh, option to create your own token and make it manageable and tradable for other people. Uh, so really recommend Smithy here. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.